Hello everyone, my name is the Pro's Home, and yesterday we were talking about how Hello Neighbor was um, a game that had a really missed opportunity, uh, but instead of us talking about the pre-alpha, we're going to go to Alpha 1, and Alpha 1 was probably one of the last like builds of Hello Neighbor um, before the actual series went downhill, and so we're going to be reviewing it, and we're going to see what its pros and cons are and we have a lot to talk about so let's let's get started okay so in hello neighbor alpha one you had two endings the regular ending and the secret ending um the secret ending was just where there's a little more story but it's, it is the alpha one so it doesn't really explain that much but it has something to do with alphas and betas later on but we're going to be talking about that a little later. Okay, so the first thing you're introduced in Alpha 1 is the intro. And it's one of the first intros that Hello Neighbor has ever used. And it's pretty interesting, but it kind of ruins it when there's no one in the car. Because at that time, Hello Neighbor didn't have a model for the player. and But Alpha 2 did something about that. So yeah, I'll just show you how the intro looks like and then I'll... Continue on talking. I'll also show someone who was aware of there being no model, and again, you guys will know who this is. Ooh, there's no one driving that. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool! After the intro's over, you're introduced to a tutorial of how to get into your house and how to throw something and how to drop something, all that kind of stuff. And this is the first time that Hello Neighbor has done this, which is pretty helpful because in the pre-alpha you couldn't do that. And so you didn't know that you can actually peek um, to see where the neighbor is. So which kind of sucked so you had to figure out the controls yourself and even though there was like a readme in the pre-alpha and it said like all the controls and stuff but whatever it, it the point is that this is the first time they've ever done this i'm gonna speed this part up so you guys don't get bored Okay, so after you're done with the tutorial, you sleep, but there's not really a sleep animation, so you wake up, but you don't even realize that, and people are confused. But, again, this is Alpha 1, this is when Hello Neighbor just started, so I'm gonna give it some slack. Okay, good enough! Yay! I'm not even gonna close my front door. I'm not even gonna close this door, or shut the blinds. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Ah, uh, what? What did I sleep? Am I am I certain that I slept? Alrighty then. It feels a little less scary in this alpha because when you go in the house, it doesn't feel confined, which is what the pre-alpha did, which make it which, which god damn it, which made it. A really good horror game because you felt really really claustrophobic and the ambience also was really creepy they still do have the ambience in this game but they don't have the ambience where he's close and where he's really close but at least they still had the ambience where 
where you're inside because you feel like that music's gonna come where he's gonna catch you. I am rather busy. They also have new chase music, which is pretty nice, but it's not going to be as good as the original one. But they still have in this game, but this is the last time they ever have this kind of music in the game. After that, it's dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. But that ambience feels different than the one they have right now, because it feels like you can catch you at any moment. So, that's okay, I guess. But let's just continue with the video and I'll talk more about the game. But I like that they kept the ambience in the game and especially when you don't know where he is, you feel legitimately scary and that he can catch you at any moment, which I really enjoy that because it makes you feel like you're in an actual horror game. I don't like it that they made it way easier to get to the door in Hello Neighbor. Like, I know that you have to get the key in the second floor and you have to get the crowbar in the first floor. So it makes it a little harder. But when, since you remove the um, passcode, like, you're not going to be, like, just searching for a passcode while you have a neighbor trying to get you. See what I mean by you feel really uneased, like you hear the footsteps of the neighbor and you don't know where he is. The only thing you can hear is his footsteps, but it really doesn't really lead him to you. This is the first step to getting the secret ending. You have to get the bell upstairs or downstairs in the bathroom. But either way, if you put the bell on that little... What the hell is it even called? That little pull thing? The shovel opens, and then when you go in the shovel and to the grave, you get... You get... Fuck. You get... You get, the, like, a grandma mannequin or something. I don't know what why, why it was like that, but it exists. If you didn't know what he just did, he just froze the water upstairs so the robotic shark can't get him, and so he can get the bell way easier. Sadly, Markiplier didn't realize that was a thing, and so he raged so much to get the bell. Uh, fuck you, get out of the way! Oh, come on! Ah, shit! Fuck you! Oh, guys, put a trash can on my head and tried to hide! Okay, don't knock my goddamn trash cans, please. Uh, ah! Ah! Yes! 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 Ah, fuck no! Come on! Ah! Ah! Get it. No! God damn it! Fucking fuck you! Seriously, just fuck off! Oh, fuck you!
Do you just see what happened there? That's the reason why you actually need that grandma mannequin. It stops them from throwing stuff because if they start throwing it, all the numbers fall down and you can't get the gun, which is like the room he was in a little while ago. Like you need to get the gun to to open that one door to get a key. I don't know. You would know when you see it. Also, you probably don't know this. They were actually going to implement third floor, but they changed their minds about it, which I wish they didn't, but it's okay. I still enjoyed this alpha. So he has the first step in order to open the door. He has a pick lock, lock a pick, you know, and also he's in a room where if you press that big red button, it turns off all the cameras. They really want to make it extremely obvious that's what happens. But, you know, some gamers are pretty, pretty dumb. Well, he has the mannequin grandma now, so that means he can get the gun now. So that's nice. And so I'm going to speed this process up so you're not going to wait because a lot of my audience is impatient little brats. Mug's book is the best rapper of all time. Yeah. Mug sucks, he can't even cry. No, why would he be with me? Because I'm the best in history. Mug's book is the best rapper of all time. Yeah. Mug sucks, he can't even cry. No, why would he be with me? Because I'm the best in history. Like that little montage? Eh? Eh? You better. You better. It was a pretty good montage, wasn't it? It was. But the, he has the gun. He now can go into the other room, shoot, like, little paper shitheads. I don't know. Let's just, let's just see what happens. Is the best rapper of all time. So yeah, this is the secret ending. Um, it's, it's this is the the little extra story. It's like if you can you understand what I mean now by there's not really a clear picture of what the story is. Still, you can you can't like there is like this one puzzle saying like bear plus key like the heart key that's there and the bear plus fire equals golden apple. But when you do it, nothing happens. So maybe it was just a little Easter egg that never happened. Or maybe it's something else. We don't know. Maybe it is in the game. We just haven't found it yet. Which would be pretty interesting. But this alpha is so, so old now. Everybody has discovered absolutely everything. Like the cutscenes outside the map. The, the like, and the cutscenes, and the cutscene on the bottom of, of the map. Like, do you know... Do you know the one that's out? There's the cutscene outside the map where you see the neighbor trying to go into the door. And the, the other one, the one on the bottom of the map is the one where you hide. You must be this tall to hide, that one. But 
yeah, that's the secret ending, guys. Which there's not that much, but let's continue and we're gonna see just the regular ending and what it is. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole Alpha 1. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this, consider subscribing and like the video and turn on post notifications so you don't forget to watch my video because you definitely don't want to miss these kind of videos. Am I right? But that's about it, so bye. And I said yes, I'm gonna beat him with no stress His vids are cringe and he's got no mates He steals ideas and he clickbaits